So one of the toughest challenges of the backhand throw as you're going through the Stokely method is an uneven level, an uneven height when you go from your pullback to the throw. And what happens so frequently is that as you go to come through, your arm comes down and you end up releasing the disc, releasing the disc at this height and you have pulled back at this height, right? So you wanna get that straight so your disc isn't changing height as you throw. For a lot of us, this is a really tough mechanic to get correct. And when I fixed it, I had around 15 hours in this, just several days of, of four and five hours a day of, of working on this motion um, slowly and then speeding it up. And so you're looking to get this muscle memory put into your body and that's how, that's how it's recommended in the Stokely Method. To start super slow, speed it up. If you don't have it correct, get it back slow, speed it up. Once you get it at this speed, you can speed it up. If you have problems here, slow it down. And it's a long process. There's a couple mental things I wanna go through and maybe a couple tips. So first of all, we talked about when you start the throw, you're trying to find where you have the greatest, the greatest amount of power in your pullback. So if that's down here, it's down here. Up here, up here. You're gonna, as we talked about in the other video, you're gonna find out where, where your strength is. Wherever you feel that strength, that's where the height of the disc needs to be. And I bring this up because a lot of players, they, they go, oh my, I'm, I'm releasing lower. So the, the kind of the knee-jerk solution is, well, I'll just lower my pullback, no problem. Well, the problem with lowering your pullback is that's not where your power is. If your power is here, everything needs to be here. You just need to fix the problem. And generally what happens anyway is if you lower your pullback, you end up just going even lower on your release. So the motion that you need to get into your body is really quite simple. You're just going from here to here. That's it. This is the motion. So I'll talk to you about a couple of things that help me. I can, I'll talk to you as well about some things that help some others. Ultimately, you need to find out what it is for your body to do this. There's not like a, a, a magic exercise that we can all go through in order to fix this for everyone. And that's part of the Stokely method is you find out what your body needs. But in any case, you need to start by proving to yourself and feeling on your body what it is to have this motion. To go from here to here and stay on one plane. Well, you'll go through this and you just, for me, it was proving to myself, proving to myself that this is a motion that my body can do. I can do this. And you can start very slowly. When I, when I do this, a lot of times what, what I wanted to do before, and I can feel it still, is this elbow wants to drop. So what does it feel like on my body for this to come through. And I can feel I have to do my elbow differently than what it would wanna do naturally as, as I'm pulling this disc. So I can feel that I have to keep my elbow a little higher. And one student said to me, your elbow leads the way. And that was, and that was a big moment for me to go, oh, okay, I can, I can feel how this elbow needs to stay higher. So then it's just, I just started practicing this motion, feeling it, right? Some players talk about doing this motion in the mirror. Like right now I'm looking in the video camera and I can see if this is flat or not, right? I'm getting this instant feedback if I have this or not. As soon as I do something like this, I see it. I dipped my elbow and I need to keep that elbow straight across. Some students talked about finding a dresser uh, that's about the height of their pole. Uh, I didn't have one of those, but I just used my kitchen table. I got down like this a little bit set my arm on it, and just ran my, ran my arm across it. Just run it across there. And the idea is you're feeling what your body has to do to keep that disc on one level throughout the pole. And then you're just gonna start to speed it up. So you practice this motion over and over again. For me, also, it kind of helped to think of myself as like a, a proud soldier in an army. And I keep my body straight as I come across. It was keeping my my elbows upright, having good posture, and that helped me to keep my elbow up. I also had to kind of make sure I didn't like, for a while I was making my shoulders uneven, so I had to find, find this motion here where my body is level, and this is just a rotation, which is really what the throw ends up being 
by the time you get into the power pocket, it's just your body staying level, but rotating like a skater doing a pirouette. So in the Scott Stokely method in drill one, we end up coming from here, we go one, two, three, and we're here. So once I'm here, I go through this motion that I practice all the time, do maybe one, two, three, four. And the idea is, as I'm doing this motion, I'm just gonna repeat it for my final one. Try not to kind of freak your body out. Oh, I'm getting ready to throw, I'm getting ready to throw. I gotta think about, uh, I gotta keep my, my, make sure my head doesn't, you know, lead the way. I gotta make sure I backhand, I gotta make sure X, Y, Z. You have to fix one problem at a time. So, and then release. So I would do that exercise, do about 10 of those, go look at the video, make sure I had like eight or nine out of 10 of those where I kept the disc level. And then I could come down and then I'd go from four, where I'm doing, uh, four, you know, releasing on, on pull number four. Then I would just do uh, releasing on pull number three. And then I released on pull number two. And then I released on pull number one. And that sounds really easy. You know, uh, what, what would happen is, is, as I got to, as I got to throw, my mind would start to race and go, dear God, this is going to happen, right? So one, two, three, four. And you're going to build that muscle memory. Once you get eight or eight or nine out of 10 of those where they're all on the same level, you can speed up your throw a little bit. And you'll find that it's more challenging at that greater speed. And that keeps happening when you don't have the muscle memory down and you speed things up, it's going to screw up. So you have to, you have to slow back down, pound it into your muscle memory, speed it up and go through that process until you get up to speed. So you can give some of those ideas a shot. Make sure you're posting videos into the trainers in the Stokely forum and the Stokely backhand forum method and get that feedback from the trainers.